confident Libra rising. You are having your new moon in your seventh house. This is your significant one-on-one -on -one relationships. So this is a, possibly a new beginning. If you're already in a relationship, then this means there's somehow a fresh start between the two of you. If you have already ended a relationship, then this is a very good possibility for a new beginning. And what I'm going to uh, stretch on here, this is a very, 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 very special time for partnerships. I'm seeing other things that show me Venus and Juno are both with Saturn at this time. Literally days before the new moon, uh, by the way, April 1st, got Venus and Juno with Saturn. Even Mars is in there. And they all trine Libra, right? And this is all air. So it's very supportive for compromising. It's very supportive for long-term relationships. It's a beautiful, sweet energy for a new beginning. Uh, you know, if it's a fresh start, but somebody who you could probably see as a long-term partner, possibly a marriage here. And if it's not a personal partnership, it could very well be a long-term business partnership. This is extremely supportive for that. And I'm extremely excited about this. I've had a lot of people asking questions. Okay, is it time? When am I going to get married? Is this a good time? And so if you're a Libra Ascendant, there's some really fun, new, inspirational people coming around in your life that you'll be meeting. Uh, so again, if you're already married and you're not looking for that, this could be new business partnerships because that's what that seventh house energy is. It holds the ability for significant one-on-one -on -one relationships, but they don't have to be about husband and wife. It could be you having one-on-one -on -one relationships, one-on-one -on -one consultations, right? Do you do that sort of work? Aryan energy in the seventh house, you're always meeting new people. So that would actually support that, right? I've got a friend who's got this energy. Uh, she's a school teacher. And so every semester she sees new people. So it satisfies that for her. And they're younger people, right? She's a college instructor. She's older, but they're younger than her. So Aries is young and it's youthful. And that is that. That's that Aryan energy in the seventh house. I have a sibling who does consultations, uh, psychology work with uh, little ones, with really small kids. And so that's this for her, Aries energy in the seventh house. This is a new time, a new beginning. Set your intentions. It's not just me, it's we. This can be inspirational teaching, inspirational speaking. This can be just starting something new, a, a new workout partner possibly because it's Aryan energy. It's all about the body. It wants to be physical. So it wants to be doing something. It's a taking action sort of a new moon. This is a rubber hitting the road type of new moon because it's let's go, right? Let's take off. Let's make this about myself, but let's make this about somebody else too. And it's a new beautiful beginning. And the universe is supporting the we energy.